Uh, hello, friends. Today, let's solve the pausing a Boolean expression problem. Let's see a statement. Return the result of evaluating a given Boolean expression represented as a string. Expression can either be t evaluating to true, f evaluating to false. Uh, which is note expression. And this is the end, evaluating to the logic end. This is logic or. So let's see um, this example. We first get this expression is equal to force. And then we got a uh, not force, which we return true. That means we need to get the logical or of false and uh, true. So we return true. Because there is uh, true all these expressions so we can return true. The same idea for the logical end. Once we have at least a false, we return false. So how to return, how to evaluate uh, this expression? We have to first handle with the inner parentheses. So we will first get the value of this logical end with the true false true so we return false then we get the the not true which is the false finally we evaluate the logical or of the false false so we get false so how to solve this question we have an intuition that we need to do their depth first search because they have the nested expressions and we need to handle the inner parentheses first so we will use a help function because when we use a help function we can use more paras we can parse more parameters so for a given string we can parse a string the expression and the uh, two pointers Mark the position we are in the expression. So the base case should be when the low equal to the high, we just return if it's for f we return false. If it's true, we return true. Otherwise, uh, for this example, we know the first part is uh, uh, when we have only one pair of parentheses. The first character is the operator. Then we iterate the rest part. When we meet an open parenthesis, we let a count, which indicates the pair of the parentheses. Um, when we meet open parenthesis, we let the count increment by one. Then we meet when we meet a common. We just uh, need to calculate. We know that we have we have meet uh, expression, so we need to handle this f, and we calculate later this f with the result boolean variable. What do I mean? Uh, we need a result uh, boolean, and when we meet uh, first uh, f, we just uh, get the result equal to the equal to result uh, or this uh, f and then we meet this t we just uh, keep doing the same thing result equal result uh, or true which means we will first uh, indicate a result boolean and uh, for every expression we just uh, do the same operation with that uh, result variable so when we meet uh, this closed parenthesis and uh, when the count equal to zero, that means we have finished one pair parenthesis. We should uh, also get uh, the value of the expression, which is t. So we calculate this part. And uh, like this, we get the value of this expression. We pass the, we return the value to the upper level. Then we calculate this part, and uh, then we return the 
value to the upper level, and finally we calculate uh, the logical or. So uh, let's solve, uh, let's write the code. And I said we need a help function because we can write more para uh, parameters. There will be zero. And the high point there will be expression dot length minus one. So this is inclusive. Then yeah, let's write the Boolean help function. First is E, and there will be low. There will be high. Okay. So as I said, the, the base case should be when the low equal to the high. We just return whatever it marks. So if low equal to the high, we return E char at low equal to F. We return false. Else we return true. Okay, so if not the case, like we handle this expression, we know the first uh, character should be the operator, so char at low. And we also need a count to mark the pair of the parentheses. At first, it's zero. We also need a result boolean. Let's think about it. When we meet uh, um, or, if we initialize this result equal to a true, we, our result should always be true because only there is at least one true. All the result of the logical or should be true. So we need to initialize it to false, right? Then if we meet a true, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. So if OP equal to the OR, we return, uh, we initialize to the force. Otherwise, initialize to true. Why? Because the same, same idea for the logical end. If we give the initial value to the true, then uh, to the force, then all the results should always be the force. Because if there is at least one force, then all the results should be false. So we can only give its initial value to the true. Okay. Then for int i equal to low plus one. Why? Because the first is low. Low is operator. So we start from the last, uh, the next position, which is low plus one. And let's o equal then high. i plus plus. So the current chart is e chart at uh, i. If c equal to the open parentheses, the count plus plus. Else if c equal to the close count minus minus. OK, we have two cases. We need to calculate the previous expression. That is, if the count equal to 1, which means like we meet this, do or this comma. So if count equal to 1, and the char is the common, or the count equal to zero, and the, the char is the close of the uh, close parentheses, like here. We know the previous place should be a uh, expression we need to calculate. So boolean next will a uh, boolean next will be helper. There will be a uh, e, and there will be. Uh, we need to mark the previous position, right? So, like in this place, this is low. This is low plus one. This should be low plus two. So we need to uh, mark this position. So prev will equal to low plus two. Prev, there will be i minus one. Why? Because our help function is inclusive of this low and high. So we we are at this i, uh, we are either the comma or the close parentheses, and we need to get the previous expression. So we need to let i e, uh, minus one, and every time we update the prev to i plus one, the next previous should just be next position of this i. So um, if operator is uh, or our result will equal to result or the next. Else, if operator equal to the 
and result equal to result and next. Else, if it's not result equal to not next, you should notice that it's not next not is not not result. Finally, we return result. Uh, no, I should write. Okay, I think I have finished that. Uh, okay. Mm? Thank you for watching. See you next time.